The title Wild encapsulates both the nature of Jack's character and the environment within which the story is set. When you first develop your ideas for Wild, which came first, the character or the setting? So I knew I wanted to write a story about the rainforest and explore um, why it's important to protect those last few wild spaces on our planet. But at about the same time, the character Jack arrived in my head and his situation added a whole new layer to that story. So I suppose the character and the setting grew alongside each other. And actually there are similarities between them too. Uh, they're both quite wild and unpredictable, but if you're willing to, to look a little bit closer and delve a little bit deeper, there's also uh, a kind of harmony and peace um, inside both of them, just waiting to be discovered. Wilde plunges straight into the action from the very first sentence. Why did you choose to start the story in this way? I love books that grab me from the first page and make you want to know more and find out where the story is gonna, gonna take me. And I think that young readers these days have so many distractions, so many demands on their time with television and gaming and uh, phones and sports. And that, that's fantastic. And there's no reason why um, young readers can't do all of those things and um, also choose to read too. And that's the important word here, I think, is, um, is choose. And so I feel that giving an exciting um, start to a story, an exciting hook, um, gives young readers a reason to carry on and choose reading. Um, because reading for pleasure is actually the best type of reading that you can do. And so that's why I like to start with, with something exciting. Your descriptions of the rainforest are rich and vivid. How important is it to immerse the reader in the setting of the story? I think it's so important to create a vivid setting for your story because stories are really made of two parts, the author's words and the reader's imagination. And so I think it's part of the author's job to, to um, allow the reader to, to unlock their imagination. So I think painting a really vivid picture is very important. And to do so, um, I do lots of research. I've also been to visit a rainforest. And for wild, I listened to all the bird songs and howler monkeys and learnt about, um, learnt things I didn't already know about lots of the plants that you can find there, um, all because I wanted um, to recreate that environment for the reader so that they could feel that they were there to seeing the things um, that I was imagining and, and feeling the things that I wanted them to um, feel as if they could touch. Your stories all have very strong themes. How do you find your inspiration and what advice would you give to young writers who are struggling to develop ideas for their stories? So in my stories, I really like to make connections between news headlines and everyday life, um, because I think it's important to show that um, things that we um, might feel are happening far away that we can't see um, are still important. Uh, and so that means that I often end up writing about things that I really care deeply about, like refugees and climate chaos and um, the power of big tech companies over our lives. Um, so my advice for young readers would be, think about um, what interests you. What do you feel passionate about? Do you love sports or a particular sport? Are you interested in animals? Um, do you love uh, sort of fantastical fantasy worlds or um, uh, magical creatures? What is it that you sparks your imagine, imagination? And um, more importantly, what are you interested in? Because when you're writing a story that you'll always get to a part that you're finding quite hard. And if you're writing about something that interests you, it can really motivate you to get through those hard parts as well. What is your number one tip for writing an adventure story? 
what is my number one tip for a writing adventure story? I think that my number one tip would be imagine where your main character starts his story. Where do you want them to start? Where do you want them to end? And that ending should probably be somewhere quite different to where they began. And then what happens in between? That is the adventure. Let your imagination run wild and make sure you include a twist that the reader is not going to see coming. What are the pros and cons of writing a story in the first person? So some of the, so there are pros and cons for writing in the first person. And I think one of the, the best things about writing in the first person is that you can really get inside your main character's head and really um, feel what they're feeling. And that means that your reader hopefully can also step inside that character's shoes, see what they're seeing, experience their emotions um, for themselves. Um, but that does mean that's probably one of the cons as well because writing in the first person is quite intense, uh, especially if there are bad things happening to your main character. Um, you can end up feeling um, as if those bad things are happening to you too. And also because you can only see events from one character's eyes, you have to be quite careful with your plot. How will they discover things um, that the reader can't see apart from through that main character's eyes? Um, and you also have to be quite inventive to make sure uh, the story stays uh, interesting and exciting as we only have that one um, person point of view so I I love writing in that way because um, I find it quite challenging but for me um, as a reader I love reading books in the first person because they're also um, really vivid and I, I really feel like I'm understanding what the characters are going through. How much do your stories evolve as you write them? So it's really important to plan your story uh, it's really important to know what's going to be what's going to happen in your story before you begin writing. Um, but sometimes the very best ideas, um, the truly magical parts of your of your writing, can happen while you're while you're actually in the middle of that story, while you're um, writing um, the plot. And so it's really important, I think, to um, not be afraid of these magical moments of these extra ideas that might arrive um, and change um, the plan that you created at the beginning because um, if you don't have a plan you can't change it but changing it can often um, add things that um, can sometimes be the best part of the story but you have to be brave. 